Good morning, guys. I don't know if it's still morning or not. Today's a PJ's day. I'm literally staying in my PJs all day today because I have a lot of work and prep to do and I literally don't even feel like getting out of my PJs. So we're gonna be staying in our PJs today and that's okay. But I wanna show you all the birthday party stuff that I got yesterday because I pretty much got everything off my list besides centerpieces and just like um, plastic spoons and like stuff like the serving utensils and stuff like that but I already ordered it so I'm excited for that to come in but let me show you guys we have a little toddler to be just stepping on all the boxes exploring the living room on her own but let me show you guys really quick before my parents and JJ get come over because then it's gonna be just a little bit harder to do like one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys so i needed another one for her cake pop so that i can bake two at the same time because i only had one this is her birthday wrapping paper are you kidding me it's right on brand i almost cried when i saw it because i thought it was perfect i love how they go like together so we're going to be wrapping up some gifts maybe my mom can help me with that because she's really good at wrapping gifts way faster than i am going along with the gift wrapping here is i just didn't find tissue paper and i had tissue paper and i gave it away i don't know why i'm like that but i found this really cute sprinkle happy birthday card um not card bag so cute and then look it has a little cake slice and then the cutest birthday card ever it says wishing you every flavor on your birthday i just thought that was the sweetest thing ever goes on brand with her gift i'm thinking of baking cupcakes i really want just a little bit more desserts on the dessert table so oh i need a cake stand oh my god i don't have a cake stand i need to buy a cake stand for her cake um so i found this one in i want to say this was mike oh no look it was marshall's just kidding marshall's home goods or something we went to like 10 different stores yesterday so if they're like all mixed up i apologize it's just we went everywhere but this was great because i can take them in here it's only a dozen cupcakes because i'm gonna have sugar cookies cake ice cream and cake pops like i don't want to do 24 cu cupcakes i don't think it's necessary so i think 12 should be fine then i found this in michael's this is also going to be for the dessert table i think i can put the cupcakes on here because this is obviously just for traveling it so that it doesn't get smudged but for display i think i can put them in on this i found the pastel sprinkles that i was looking for in that other vlog that i was talking to you guys about this is the one that i wanted and when we went to michael's they actually had i found these at target so cute for the dessert table tablecloth i got two table covers just in case i don't know we're only having one dessert table but just in case i'd rather be prepared it was only two dollars so i got that these are all of the toppings and all of the things that are going on the ice cream bar but that the ice cream bar the ice cream cart i also have little cups in case nobody wants to do cone or a thing so i got these the sugar cones i feel like a lot of people would like these the little waffle cones are these waffle cones yeah right these are waffle cones and then these are just like the regular little cones and so my vision what i was planning on doing is standing them up here so having like the waffle cones maybe on top and then like the sugar cones on the bottom i thought that would look really nice so i'm so glad that i found this little thing because it matches my aesthetic like at home so i can use it after but then it also looks really nice with the like neutral colors and stuff for the coffee bar oh my god for the ice cream bar good lord and then these are toppings i don't know how this ended up in here because this is not on the list but i didn't i must have not noticed and it ended up going in there anyway so this is the ice cream bar sign that's going on the little ice cream bar so i was going based on this list because this is what i had already custom made at on can was it on canva i think it was on canva i bought the like the layout from etsy i was able to custom made it and then these are the toppings that i decided to go with i also forgot that i had bought this which is also like another little dessert table stand so i have that there as well which i do think could be necessary for like layering things i've never done again i've never done a party before so i don't really be knowing how these things work i'd rather have more and then return if i don't end up using it so that is everything that i have so far it was a successful trip which i'm so glad i found most of the things that i needed and i'm just so excited like i can't believe i get to do this for my daughter she's gonna look back at these things look back at the memories and just i hope she's gonna like it <laughs> like i hope she'll love it and be happy i also am planning on doing a photo book like a photo album book with all the pictures that we take so that i can have those from one to like 18 or one to 21 like every year on her birthday just gift her a book 
so that she can have memories and photos to look back at all of her birthday parties because my parents did that they did photo albums for us and we still have them and that's how you can look back at your childhood memories and just remember like oh my god like I was loved I was celebrated I was special so I want her to know that and feel it over here to say the least excuse you milo just put his butt on the camera milo you're so rude oh you guys are just the rudest you get down i know you like to look out the window but i'm using this as a stand so you have to back up buddy quite a lot has changed in this room which i'm so loving it's looking more like a toddler room which is really exciting because she's officially in different stages she got a few fun things for her birthday so i'm excited about that and just like seeing her interest in like new toys and stuff but 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 the party was amazing the birthday party <laughs> i had so much fun she had so much fun she did not cry and she did not nap the entire time we were at the venue for her birthday party so the, the hours were two to six we got there around 12 30 to 1 ish and we didn't leave until like 7 30 and homegirl was up the entire time she was like i'm not missing anything it's my party i'm gonna have fun and let me tell you that she did i wish i would have gotten someone to like do the video for me my dad was taking our photos and like all the photography and like family photos for our friends and stuff like that hey kiddos let's try hello 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 <laughs> hello Adeline hello. okay your turn you want to write hello here so my dad was taking pictures of us like the family and stuff and even with that I would have done it differently I probably would have put us on a tripod would have brought a different set of lens I brought my like really good lens because I wanted really good pictures however it's a 50 millimeter and if you know about cameras you need to be really far away from the subject in order to get the full shot and so that was challenging because we had a huge soft play area and we had like mini go-karting in the middle of the room and then the balloon arc was on like this corner so it was a little challenging to get really good shots so that's a lesson learned I ordered some other lenses for like the future because also this one wasn't a zoom-in lens this is a quick little camera talk situation but I would do those things differently get a different lens get a tripod and I think that would be better and then have someone just vlogging for me I don't know why I think I'm super human I mean I know I am because the things that I got done I'm proud of myself for but I don't know why I thought I'd be able to vlog and also enjoy the day as well and so I didn't get to capture as much content as I wanted to and just footage and memory but nonetheless it was such a fun day I wish I can relive the day over and over and over again because my vision truly came to life in the best way possible the ice cream cart was so beautiful I think we got some footage of the ice cream cart the balloon arc oh my god the vision for the balloon arc came out so nice Adeline's behind me so I just keep Keep, like turning around to make sure she doesn't fall because she likes to get on this chair to climb into the letter alphabet over here yeah i'm talking about you little lady 
I'm talking about you. She likes to climb on this little chair and get the number, I mean, get the letters. But sometimes, like, she doesn't, you know, she's a baby, so she falls. Little baby in the way. <laughs> this is mommy's. This is mommy's. This is not doo Do you want to go on the swing? Come, let's put you on the swing. Do you want to swing? Swing, swing. We changed the swing because the swing was behind us and it was blocking this whole entire wall so I had a different vision for it. You don't want to be on the swing? No? No quieres no quieres el board? Okay. Eh, ¿Qué más quieres, Ratuti? ¿Quieres la caja de tarjetas? No. ¿Quieres salir? ¿Quieres salir? Dile, mami, sácame de aquí. The balloon art came out so beautiful. I used um, the same people for my baby shower that I had literally found them on Instagram. Because, listen, I have never thrown parties before. I've never, like, I don't know. I don't have hookups to people that do, like, balloon arts that have good venues. So I was just utilizing the internet, okay, to find people. And the people that we came across for the baby shower, the balloon arc, I found them on Instagram. Their work is amazing. They're a couple. And they're just the sweetest people. People ever and so I already knew I told her in my baby shower, I was like girl you're gonna do my daughter's first birthday balloon art and now she's gonna be booked with, uh, with us forever because they're just amazing they're just talented really nice kind human beings so I'm gonna link them their Instagram is called copy and paste and they're just the best you want to read this book colores mira colores is it yellow amarillo cheese Queso. ¿A ti te gusta el queso? Guys, when I tell you, I must have talked to like 50 or 60 people on Facebook Marketplace because I was looking for a soft play rental. I had never thrown a birthday party before. I never been to like a kid's birthday party that's not like at someone's backyard or someone's house. Like I've never been to like a venue party. And obviously, like if I were to have a house with a backyard, you best believe all my kids' birthday celebrations would be at like our house. But since we don't have that house yet, that is in my prayers. That in my wishes the market is just ridiculous right now and it doesn't make sense for us to buy yet but it is in my prayers of petitions and desires to have a house with a backyard for my dogs and my kids and i will be throwing all the birthday parties in their backyard but since we don't have that we had to utilize a venue facebook marketplace was my girl i don't know if she's a girl boy it's machine technology it was amazing because i was able to find the soft play people on there i forgot the company's name they're like a small husband and wife with a baby as well and they're kind of we're just starting off and they had really great packages and i love i love the idea of the bumper car situation i have never seen that heard of it before so i was like dude this is gonna be such a hit and it was it was amazing and let me just tell you as a believer i pray for everything i literally pray for everything like if i lose something i'm like god i know your eyes can see it please show it to me if i'm booking something anything that i do i involve the lord in it and i pray about it because God is just God is just the best and I could not imagine this life without having God in my life and I prayed over it I was like God I really wanted to do this birthday party for Adeline like please the people that are here you know it's Facebook marketplace they could be scammers they could be crazies loonies and so I really prayed over that and I, I'm just grateful that we found really nice people like genuine people that I would rebook again I'm gonna put all the information down below in case you guys are in New York New York New Jersey and you would like to book with them they don't know I'm even shy them out they were just generally good people and i really would love to see their businesses thrive and grow and you know because they were just that good and then another small like business type of thing is etsy etsy is the place to shop look at her she's in her little reading nook i gotta give you guys a little tour because her playroom has been so stinking cute and i love it we literally i see you through the window <laughs> i can see you look <laughs> She was her little head was in this window over here. I wanted custom made sugar cookies and all the bakeries around us where we live or like places we were willing to travel to were charging us ridiculous amount of money for literally a dozen cookies and I was like what the heck like why are sugar cookies so expensive? I'm not talented enough to do it. So I did good job baby. You did 
good. You did it in your face. You did it. Good job, baby. You okay? Maybe we should move this chair. So I went on Etsy and I was like, let me just see if there's like any bakers that are willing to do sugar cookies and things like that. And I found a really good baker. I forgot her name, but I'm going to link her shop and the cookies that I got for the birthday party because it was also amazing. I ordered 24 cookies. It was like 120, but like the shipping was like 30 bucks. Sounds insane. But let me just tell you, I was getting quota like 220, not including delivery for just 12 cookies, 12 custom made cookies. And I thought that was insane. So when I saw this for 150 for two dozens I was like okay you know I'm gonna do all the other baking so I did bake cake pops because I wanted to buy cake pops as well but I didn't want to spend the money on that that was all gonna be like another 150 and I did it myself and I got so many compliments on my cake pop I don't know if people like were being super nice or if you guys were being super nice because even on Instagram you guys were like this looks professionally done for me doing it for the first time I was very proud of myself and I definitely saved a lot of money there I was willing to spend the 150 on the sugar cookies because that was basically the only nice like professionally done I guess dessert and I really wanted to have custom sugar cookies but you guys God is a good God <laughs> that he is my friends and I don't know what happened but the baker she blessed me with an extra 10 cookies so I got a total was it 12 I think no I think she gave me an extra dozen because I count well not an extra dozen I think it was extra 10 because I got 35 cookies so extra 11 cookies I got an extra I got extra cookies and she didn't know who I was I just I was just a regular Etsy buyer and we were just blessed with extra cookies so that I was so grateful for so in the end ow you pulled mommy's ear and so I'm gonna link her below because hello she was just so talented everything came out so beautifully and I highly recommend check out Etsy check out Facebook marketplace um, and talk to your friends and family or people on social or post on your social to see what recommendations people give you but I'm just sad I didn't get to capture as many moments as I wanted to but I got sneak peeks we got the happy birthday we got her singing her favorite song the veggie dance song and it was fun today is now Friday so it's a week after the birthday and I have been spending the entire Entire week just really getting my life together getting my house in order like we got blessed with a lot of diapers and wipes which is what I put in the registry another tip do a gift registry for your kids birthday if you're doing a get-together if you're doing a birthday party because that way you're in control of what people are gifting you and they don't gift you just random extra stuff so our friends were so good and I'm so glad and grateful for them because I have put a lot of diapers and wipes that's what we use mostly that's what she needed so I put two sizes of each next three sizes so we did four five and six and then I put a bunch of wipes in there I think I put like four packs of wipes so we got like four packs of wipes and we got six boxes of diapers and she is set for the next few months and that's somewhere we can save money and it's something that she's gonna be able to use we got a couple things so I wanted to get her a little play kitchen so here's the little play kitchen that I went with it is so cute and we're doing flashcards with her so that she can associate like the names of food we do them in Spanish and in English because my baby girl is Dominican, Puerto Rican, and Cuban, so she has to speak Spanish. She just has to. Adeline, be nice to your brothers. Be nice to brothers. Yeah, be nice. The little kitchen set comes with little pots and pans. I call this the Sancocho olla. So when she has this one, I'm like, Adeline, tu me vas un Sancocho. So she plays with that. And then there's a whole bunch of like little fruits and stuff that we, this is additional. You can buy these off of Amazon. So she is associating the name of different things. So she knows how to identify the fruits because she eats fruits every day. So she gets the banana, watermelon, the strawberry. So we're in that stage where we're teaching her how to identify different things. Okay, and then in here is her little playhouse. House, but I have it as like a little reading playing nook in here and I think it's so fun we come in here we read little stories and then I went to what is it called what is that place called oh my god Lakeshore my mom's a teacher she used to be a teacher and we used to go there all the time and I got these really cute little signs off of Lakeshore and I just got them laminated okay so I had to do a little pause because we're currently dealing with a situation and that is teaching Adeline to be nice and to not hit the dogs please any advice is welcomed we always play together I don't exclude the dogs I teach her I take her hand and we're like nice nice I tell her do not hit the dog but for some reason she thinks it's funny and I don't think she's doing it on purpose per se but it's just like how do you get the kids to be nice to the dogs Please. 
I just had like a little mini heart attack. Well, my parents are almost here. I'm gonna just end this vlog really quick. And just thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed celebrating our baby sissy's first birthday together. And I hope it inspires you if you have a baby coming up and you need a theme. I think sweet one was the perfect one. The ice cream, all of that was so fun. I am gonna link everything that I use for the ice cream. I'm gonna do a little Amazon linking, like what is it called? Like a page. So you guys can go in and click on all the things that I got for her birthday party. I share this as inspiration if you need any ideas and just all the stuff and things that I choose to show you guys. I hope it is to inspire, to motivate, to get you out of your funk because we all need that sometimes. Put a smile on your face in one way or another. But we love you. We're so happy you're here. We're so happy you're here. And we'll see you in the next video. Say mwah. Mwah. Mwah.